Christianity. Christianity is one of the most widespread religions throughout the world, whilst also being some of the most persecuted as well. In this essay, I plan to persuade you of the very realness of Christianity. This is not an effort to push this subject down your throat, but to rather persuade you to my idea of creation. So as we open the gates to this topic, we will first begin by reviewing the Bible and its accuracy. Then we'll move on to DNA sequences in humans, as well as the composition of our body. And finally, for our revelation, we will be discussing the science of Earth and the universe as we know it. So as we hop on a donkey and ride into our first point, we'll discuss the Bible and its accuracy. A common staple of Christianity is the Holy Bible, as many believe it lays out the rules and foundations for life on Earth. The Bible, according to ICR.org, the Bible was believed to have been started and written to 7 to 8 BCE and completed in 100 CE. This is over a 1500 year span that the Bible was illustrated by over 40 different prophets. Now this book is over 3400 years old and has been translated multiple times throughout history. So how accurate could this book possibly be? The Bible is considered to be the most historically accurate textbook in the world, with there being thousands of man hours put into the study of the Bible and its historical relevance. Almost all things stated in the Bible have been shown to be factual through the comparison of ancient scrolls and other events of time. So what are the chances of the Bible being as accurate as it is with over 400 prophecies being fulfilled? That answer is very low, as that is 10 to the 17th power. Now let me put this number into perspective for you, as it is certainly a very high number. This is equivalent to filling the entire state of Texas with silver dollars and stacking it two feet high. Which keep in mind, these coins are only one and a half inches around. Then we shall mark one of these coins and mix them all around. Then we blindfold a man and have him walk around the state of Texas, stopping whenever he pleases. The chances of him picking up this marked silver dollar is just in the ballpark of 10 to the 17th power. So as we move on, we will be discussing the DNA sequences in humans, as well as the composition of our body. I'm sure everyone's heard about DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid. They may be wondering, what does this matter? Well, DNA is combined in the sequence of A, T, C, G, every 10, 5, 6, 5 acids, through sulfuric bridging. Now, this is important, as 10, 5, 6, 5 in Hebraic meaning is pronounced as Yahweh. Now, this is how long this is said to us from Henderson.org. So why is this important, you may ask? Because in Exodus 3.14, God reveals himself as Yahweh. And this is later written down in Colossians chapter 1, verse 16 through 17. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. So now we move on to the biggest organ on our body, skin. So you may be wondering, Jude, what are you rambling on about now? Does it surprise you that our body, that our skin, is made up of 26 of the same minerals that dirt is made up of? You may find this as a coincidence, but I tell you it is not. As it is written, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, Then the Lord formed the man out of the dust of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. This was all written way before our understanding of such topics. So now as we move on to our last and final point for our revelation, we will be discussing the creation of the universe and earth as we know it. The creation of the earth baffles scientists, as so many things seem to have just went perfectly right for the creation of the Earth and our universe to have happened. With even some things being a fraction off, we would not exist. So, according to a quote from Dr. Stefan Meyer, the major developments in the science in the past five decades have been pointing in a strongly theistic direction. With so many things done right, science done right seems to point directly towards God. The universe is so finely tuned, scientists can't explain any of this without the idea of a divine creator. 
The problem with the evolution of the universe is that ev it all can be mathematically explained. This goes against the randomness of evolution. As in a quote from Sir James Jeans Jr., one of the greatest astronomists of the 20th century, from the intrinsic evidence of his creation, the great architect of the universe now begins to appear as a pure mathematician. The universe seems to look more like a great thought than like a great machine. Now back to the creation of life on Earth. Scientists can't explain the genetic codes in which we hope. There's over 3 billion genetic sequences in the human genome molecule alone, which these are all finely tuned to give instruction. So now as we wrap up this subject, I hope to we first began by going over the Bible and its accuracy. Then we began by discussing DNA sequences in humans as well as the composition of our body. And finally, for our revelation, we discussed the creation of the universe and earth as we know it. In this essay, I hope to have persuaded you of the very realness of Christianity. After all, why would millions believe a religion, a so-called false religion, and be willing to die for such a false religion? Thank you. Yeah.